Day two. New crew on board. Everybody got a good night's sleep, I think. We hope. <laughs> We've already had breakfast, they've had their coffee, and now it's time to crack the whip. <laughs> we got projects coming up, and it's time to move. You guys ready? Yeah, let's do it. You had your breakfast. Had a good night's sleep, I trust. <laughs> Finally, Richie slept good, so we all slept. That's good. <laughs> hey, stinker. All right, guys. Thanks, Richie. Cracking the whip. Time to get to work. Ready? All hands on deck. Do -do 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 -do. Sound the alarm. All right, I'm throwing this stuff. Ready, Richie. Ready. Run, run, run. <laughs> but yeah, you guys remember I showed you that our flags got toasted in all the last squalls we've had, and it's pretty windy again today, but not too bad. But we're gonna start working on replacing some of this stuff because the biggest thing we're short on is our sunshade. The sunshade right here got trashed very badly in the last squall. It looks okay right now, but when you unroll it, you'll see it's all ripped up at the edges where it's around the pipe and everything. So everything has let go and was just flogging in the wind like crazy. So we got to take it down, repair all that damage. And then I got a special project in mind with those two solar panels I told you I really liked and been looking for the perfect application for. And I think this is it. <laughs> Okay, so we need to start by taking down this uh, the Velcro and unrolling this to uh, Let's see. Actually, we don't need to unroll it yet. We just need to take these Velcro off here. Okay. One there and one here, and then the whole thing will come undone. We just take it all off, slide the pipes out, and unroll it. And then we'll have a look at the damage and see what we need to fix. There's what we like to see. Two big strapping guys working hard. <laughs> yeah, is that cool, Richie? Oh. <laughs> Richie's swinging on everything. He's our little onboard monkey now, hey buddy. Alright, so let's unroll this. Okay, so you can see here basically what's happened is all of our stitching got ripped out on the piece that traps the pole. So it doesn't trap the pole anymore. It just flogs around and comes loose. So luckily we didn't lose any fabric, but we lost all the stitching. And it's the same problems we had before. The company we had sew all this stuff together didn't use UV stable thread. So of course the thread, poof, just gave up. So we got that side to repair and a little bit on this side. Yeah, this one's gone too. So we got to fix this stuff and put it back together. So we'll get that done. And then we're gonna trim the poles to fit proper. And we're gonna engage the solar project and hopefully that's gonna work. Okay, so let's pack this up, bring it into the cockpit. Okay, next we need our sewing machine and that's in Christian's cabin, so right in here that big box right beside your backpack. Cool. So if you can just grab that and pull it out. Ha 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 ha. Right under so the fan. Heavy. Yeah, it's very heavy. It's Perfect. So heavy. You wanted to work out, you got it. Everybody <laughs> needs more workouts. Plug some oh, the guys have cracked the case already? All right, good. Yeah, we'll plug it into one of the power stations. We might need an extension cord, but we need to set up the table first. So let's open up one wing of the table. this with our trusty EcoFlow Delta Pro. Turn on the AC 
outlets. And plug it in. And we should have power. Okay. Put this on the floor. Okay, so we've got thread down, but no thread up. We need to thread that in first. Hey, Richie, you ready to learn how to sew? You gonna learn how to sew with Daddy? <laughs> He's gonna learn a lot of new things, and unfortunately, sewing is probably gonna be one of them. <laughs> but it's a good thing to know when you live on a sailboat, because when shit breaks, if you can't fix it, it doesn't get fixed unless you can pay somebody else to fix it. And if that happens to be at sea, you ain't gonna fix it at sea. You're not gonna find somebody to hire, so. All right, let's have a look here. So we got our machine set up. Now this is our special thread here that's 100% UV resistant and very strong and it's transparent so that it can be seen on any color. And you can immediately see if it starts to fray. So we got that run through our holder here, through our guide, through our tensioner, back up through the swing arm. You can see right there. Okay, so then that goes down through the needle guide. And we got our thread pulled through from the bobbin underneath and the one from the needle right there. So we are good to go. Okay, so we're just gonna put our test piece in here to do a test and make sure that the thread is engaging. Run a few stitches and pull it out. Okay, and yep, as you can see, it's working perfect. Got good tension on both sides. And we'll cut these two. And we are ready. Taught you how to sew, Captain. I taught myself how to sew when I was 17. That's a little known fact, actually, because my first business was fashion design. And I started right out of high school. I used to design uh, outfits for a band. What'd you call it? The business was called Fashion Tech. The band I used to work for back then was Platinum Blonde. Canadian band, some people in the States knew them, but not too many. But after three years working with them, they did become voted the best dress band in Canada. <laughs> that was cool. That's exactly how it's done. They started to change a lot of the trends with rock bands back in the seven, or back in the 80s. They were a hair band, but that's when they started turning into glamorous instead of wearing all black leather and studs. <laughs> they got them into a whole new line of different stuff to wear. And a lot of the other bands started following suit, which was pretty cool. It was interesting to make a bit of an inference, a bit of a difference on the industry anyway. Right, I think that's enough for there. That's just a tension area. It should hold. That's just for not stretching. Be careful, Richie. Can you say Eco Pro Pro? Eco Pro Pro. 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 E
Can you do a flow pro? Yeah. Hey, there. You go flow pro. Mmm, one help. Oh, well, Mommy's got the fish on the barbecue. Yeah, there's a fish on the barbie. Yeah, red snapper. Fish on the barbie. Mm -hmm. Nice red snapper. And it's very tender. Let all your snappers be red. <laughs> okay, so, let's see, now we need to gather this up and then take it to the bow with a hacksaw for stage two. Bowl's gonna sit in there, but of course we need to round off the edge, and we can't really do that with a metal pole. So I'm gonna take a bunch of duct tape, wrap it around the pole, and stuff it inside, and make it just round so it doesn't shave through the fabric. Hopefully it's gonna work. It's an experiment. Okay. Now when you find gentlemen can take this pole back there and. Cut that off right there with the hacksaw. Raise this end up a little bit. And now if I pull this tight, it should just snap into the pocket and keep tension. Good. Does that got good tension? Yep. Okay, so our mark is right there. So back off just a little bit. Let's say right about there. Now, pull it tight and see if that'll fit the pocket. Look good? Pocket's right to about there, right? Does it feel really tight or? It's gonna be good, yes. Yeah, we don't want tight. too much tight, but just snug, that's all. So if I'm here, it's okay. pretty damn tight. Perfect, all right, cut there. Oh, lunch is ready. Looks delicious. <laughs> My first taste of shade. Needs lots of tension, that's the key. And those hose clamps just lock it in place so it can't slide down. Okay. All right, that should do it for the back. Okay, somebody help push forward. There we go. Okay, how's that? What a beautiful thing. Oh, yeah. Another job done, almost. <laughs> Look at that big shade spot. Ooh, almost. Yeah. Because we still need to stabilize the front edge because in the wind, it'll pick one side up and it'll turn into a big kite. So that's why I had these second lines here that attach around the outside of the pole 
and pulled down on both sides to keep it rock solid. So now we're just gonna have to, like I'm gonna have to figure out if I'm gonna put a hole in the pipe or just wrap it through here with a little grommet right there so that we just run the, the line down to these things here. And that holds it solid at both sides and that way the wind doesn't move it up or down and it doesn't get under it. Okay. All right, lunchtime guys. Uh, lunch. Yeah. Um, we get to eat with the sewing machine. Well, yeah, he's roughing it. Oh, gracias. Uh, Enjoy. Can we have a cheers to Christian's first snapper on a sailboat? Oh, oh come on now. Cheers, man. Cheers, cheers man. Cheers. Thank Where's you lunch so on much. Board? Thank you very much. Oh, Richie's car. Spot. They don't want any trouble during okay, the Okay, we turn it on. <laughs> Sometimes if you call they Boom. deny, they need to There you go. Answer. It's ready, buddy. Bye. Oh, well, you got to turn this on, too. There you go. Wow, I'm jumping. Whoa, what happened? Hey, somebody jumping. Somebody went overboard. It's supposed going. to warn us before you do that. <laughs> Here you go, buddy. It's all ready. Wow. Uh oh. Oh no. Wow. Ah. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, there it goes. <laughs> Next episode will be part two of our Solar Shade project, where we bring out our new Bougar V6 panels that I've been dying to put into a more permanent configuration and see how well they perform. And not just perform, we do some wicked stress testing on them too, just to see if they'll survive. So thanks as always for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.